Curating educational resources is a skill. Finding the right information provided by a trusted source is important for educators and students alike. Luckily, there are lots of tech tools that make aggregating resources easier. They can also make sorting through the information more effective. By using IFT, you can create your own list of resources that can be easily sorted using keywords. I'm Drea from the IFT team, and I'll show you three ways that you can use automation to pull resources for lesson plans or furthering your own personal education goals. If you can build applets using RSS feeds as a trigger. Whenever new items are added to the feed, they can be added to a spreadsheet or sent to you using any communication service on IFT. Slack, an email digest, text message, notification, you name the method when you decide the action. For example, I'll use this blog about teaching. It's a WordPress blog, so I can find the RSS feed by adjusting the URL. I just need to add backslash feed to the root of the URL. If it has a bunch of new services like NASA, the EPA, NPR, New York Times, and some others. My favorite is the Pew Research Center. They publish a lot of interesting studies. So I'll be building an applet that sends me a weekly email digest of all the latest Pew studies. I can even add in a keyword to refine which studies I receive an email about. IFT offers social media services like Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Discord. You can use these services to build applets that help you follow the news about certain topics. I like to watch TED Talks, so I created this applet that notifies me whenever a new video is added to the TED Talks YouTube channel. Using filter code, I can tell this applet to skip its action unless the video description mentions education. If you'd like to learn how to take social listening and trend monitoring a step further, watch my friend Jenna's video. 